All right, what's going on guys? So I'm currently outside of Grant's house, like always. Wanted to start the video here just because of the fact that what he bought and mentioned in my last video, if you guys saw, finally came today. So we're gonna play with it a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead to the gym. But this is a very big moment because it's a very nice piece of equipment that I'm very excited to show you what it is, even though you probably already know and have your suspicions and it's in his hand right now and he's coming out the door and I'm so excited. I can't all, he just went back inside, now I'm sad because I just want to play with this more than he does and I'm gonna probably steal it from him multiple times. <gasps> it's so fucking beautiful. Wanna hold it so I can go close the door properly? Oh my God, it's so fucking clean. I know, right? I tried FaceTiming Dave to show him off. But... Yo, why the fuck are Dylan and Corner of Philly? I couldn't tell you. But can I see that booster board? Can I stand on it? Yeah. Can you put it down? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so fucking clean and shiny. Have you ridden it, Matt? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me uh try yeah. ripper. Oh uh, river? Real fast before we go train. Oh my god. Ooh, it feels new. Is it faster than Dave? Yeah, uh no, same speed. You know you can go up it, right? Yeah. It's smooth. But I didn't want to dick your car. That's really nice. I don't know, dude. Something about just not... Just these roads are just not... Dude, they're so bumpy. It's just not ideal boosted weather. Or, well, actually boosted weather it is. But ideal boosted board riding on the street? No. Yes. Dave's fucking cul-de-sac is literally the best thing that there is for boosted boards. Yeah, but see, that's Dave's cul-de-sac. We don't have that, okay? We, have to we learn just have this queefy ass... Oh, you're dead. <laughs> there he is. James, if the rumor's true. <laughs> what rumor's true? You've made a YouTube channel less than a day ago and you've already passed me by 2,000 people. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put your link in my description. Thank you. That. You're now even the next YouTube sensation. Even though that everyone subscribes to him, is already subscribed to you. You think so? Most likely. Yeah. But you're about to get more, yeah. potentially. Thank Maybe you. like two. <laughs> I'm currently in the spot. I've been starting yes. most of my videos for the workout edit. James had to go to ballroom dancing again, so we most likely will see him after we train. But yeah, guys, so like I kind of briefly said, James finally made. What are you doing? Kinza. What? Kinza. It's a... Alright, be it. So James finally made a YouTube channel. First link in the description, only link in the description. Go subscribe to James from Rock Bottom. He has no videos, no profile picture, way more subs than me. I love it. James is an icon in the fitness industry. I know all you guys love him and know James very well, so I'm going to stop rambling because we took pre. Me and Grant are hitting a push day and we're about to go on the island. Hit a push day. Might do a little heavy signal depending on how I feel. See what happens. So yeah, let's go see if I fail 315. Go. Not 315. I'm not putting 315 on the bar. Let's see if I fill 275. There it is. The corrected weight. It's fucking muggy and disgusting out, so I'm going inside island.
do a backflip in my video. Do a backflip in your video. Get her right. Come on, dance nerd. All right, so I threw up on my Instagram complete randomly. Didn't even really think about it. Q and A with James. Now Dave's here. He's gonna join in, even though nobody knows Dave's here except for David. David. So yeah, the you first question specifically for you: How old is James? I am 82. 92 years. Oh yes, 82. Sorry. 82. 82. Has James uploaded his first YouTube video yet? No. Alright. This is a fast Q and A. You got three questions left. To make me count. I know, right? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty simple too. They open. They, you should never ask open-ended questions, guys. It's like really bad form. Error. Four, Error. four. Try again. How much can you bench? Right now, I wouldn't even want to try. I have like tricep injuries, but I guess in my best maybe. And I never tried because I wasn't wasn't power. Maybe like three fifteen for six or eight. That's a reasonable amount of weight. More than I could do. <laughs> and that was with pauses. And that was with my feet up on the bench. Damn. So let's just say 405 on a good day. I doubt it. Workout. <laughs> I doubt it. But that was in high school too, though, so a lot of that. What is James's favorite product in Rock Bottom? So since everyone's here, we just do everyone's favorite product in Rock Bottom. <laughs> you starting? Sam E. That's oh. interesting. That's an interesting choice. Do you still have my Sam E? No, I used it all. Sorry, bud. Uh, TMT. Like I like that. Um, well, that's basically. It's all the same. It's all the same. Yeah. yeah. How and about you? Know? Too, actually, because it just what? Like theanine? Theanine. It Isn't that? It's yeah, I was gonna say. Just edge off, you know? I get some more I'm a full power and antiracetam type of guy. Excuse me, sir. I don't think they sell antiracetam yeah. here. No. I'm a full power time guy. Yeah. You fuck it. How much DMA to kill me? To kill you? Uh, I mean, I used to pop ephedrine, like... How much to kill you? Oh, uh, well, I could probably drink the entire bottle. <laughs> yeah. Like, was just, like, I used to take the ephedrine, which was stronger than DMA, and I would probably pop, like, a good three, four, five at a time if I wanted to work out or wake up. It's all right. I have a, I have way too much stem in my body. And always 25 grams of ephedrine, too, so. oh, I just like some green tea, that's all I need. <laughs> Get the... F <laughs> now I mostly just use the caffeine. Okay, Dave. Yeah, okay. Does James work out? That's yeah, insulting. You know, and, and just no offense to you, <laughs> you fan types out there, but because guys don't wear really tight shirts, Dave doesn't mean we actually don't work out. I'm five foot ten, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. If I didn't work out, I would be like a whale. Just saying. Hmm. And then there's a part to you. Do you have any science backgrounds? I have a degree in psychology and biology, but I don't consider that to be really a science you background per se. Yeah, a bachelor's. What, what school, James? That was enough information for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> James is an unlicensed professional, like myself. But mostly I just have a lot of experience doing this stuff. Like, people don't realize. It's all experience. It's not just the fact that I've trained people as a personal trainer, which is kind of moronic, because anybody can train people as a personal trainer. I've been doing this for enough years that I have talked to 5,000 people that have taken every product that you might want to take and seen the results, good, bad, the ugly, and the wonderful. And most times it's just kind of average, so I can tell you about that. I don't know how useful that will be for you. And I'll just give you my personal opinion. If you don't like my opinion, kind of don't care. Just saying. <laughs> but I can tell you what I've talked to people over the period of uh, several years. I've seen people start lifting. I've seen people lift for three or four years straight and stop and come back get injured, not get injured, have some kind of outcome, and I can talk about that kind of stuff. I don't know how useful that is to you. If it's not, I don't care. Just saying. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Benefits of glutamine. Glutamine, oh, which God. we read in a second, is the most abundant amino acid in the body. Your body will rob it from your muscles to use it for your immune system, your gut, your brain. For your purposes, for what you want to do, you're likely to be less sore. You're likely to recover a little bit faster. It's likely to improve your gut health, so if you like leaky gut or something like that, you should feel better. But most importantly, for most of you that are dieting, glutamine tends to cure carb cravings. Because mm. glutamine works on the same receptors that carbs and alcohol does. In fact, in an interesting study they did a few years back, they found that rats that they induced alcoholism in, and they gave them glutamine, they stopped drinking the alcohol. Mm. So all your little alcoholic friends that you know that are just complete losers just start sipping in glutamine in their drinks and see if they start drinking less alcohol. Mm. Damn. Next. Great. 
Next question. Come on, you have a rare form tonight, guys. I <laughs> love it. Are yeah, supplements yeah. necessary? Like, if no supplements are used, including whey, good results. Question you want to be liked by other people. Okay, 80% of everything that you do is just your food. So what you really need to do is you need to track how much protein you're getting. One gram per lean pound is a good rule of thumb. It's absolutely not, it's not an absolute thing, but it's just a good way of thinking about it. Small calorie surplus if you're trying to gain weight. Small, sur small calorie deficit if you're trying to lose weight. If you do that, you're 80% there. So supplements can really help. They're a little bit like extra credits in an exam. Do you know what I mean? If you already failed the I'm exam, I'm not sure that five points is going to make much cheater. of a difference. Do you understand? Oh. How's it now, a cheater on exams? What you really need to think about, though, when you think about this, is that most of a store like this is just engineered food. So if you don't get enough protein, you don't get enough carbs, you don't get enough whatever, it's easy to walk in here and get those things by buying a simple product. That's the usefulness of supplements. So what you really want to do is use those to fill the gap in your diet. Fill the gap in your soul. Of yeah. Hollowness. Just get the 100% super alpha hydrolyzed way, yeah, and you'll turn into Dexter Jackson. Yeah? yeah? I mean, hey, Dave, you used to be all about that Whole Foods diet, but I mean, here we are. Those are actually snacking on. Cookie. That's a Whole Food cookie. Those are sugar free, veggie, gluten free cookies. <laughs> With a lot of gluten in there, so. Is this? Yeah, let me see a cookie. Another cookie. Yeah. Do you mind? Here, Dave, you want one? Thank you. You're welcome. They actually are, surprisingly. They're crisp. I'm a fan of crisp cookies. They're kind of Alright, next question, people. Why did Carl Jung and Sigmund Freud split? What was their axiomatic difference? Yo, whoever asked this question knows James is a fucking psychological... Okay, Carl Mess. Jung was a dis was a disciple of Sigmund Freud, right? So Sigmund Freud believed in the in basically the, psycho so the psychosexual theory Perversion. of psychoanalysis and make and basically most of personality theory occurring. Do you think really he was a tantric life. sex type of guy? No, I don't think he was a tantric sex. Type of guy. Anyway, Jung started deviating from that psychosexual theory that made psychoanalysis so big, and that's actually what caused a break. Ten more questions. Come on. No, that was it. I have, Seriously? Even fuck that. I have. Uh, <laughs> I was told to ask you, you this with no context. Have you ever been broken through? With no, they were told. You were told to ask I that was with told no to context. Ask, Dave, ask um, Dave. Have you ever been broken through with no context? I see. Who asked that? I. That's yeah, I never actually broke that. through, and then I was really curious why. Then I listened to a lot of Terrence McKenna's work, and he said you have to take three massive hits and anything less than that you're just not going to break through this membrane as he describes it so then after breaking through the membrane speaking to the machine elves I actually saw James doing some crazy shit in there too we were in the 13th dimension <laughs> together and it was really really interesting it was a very atypical rock bottom experience in cyberspace was that you know? James English to ask you the question? no <laughs> do, do any of your subscribers even know I exist really? You? No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I get hate comments when you're not on my video. They, they, they just think about you as like a purple avatar, James <laughs> James Williams. That's like um, something like Barney is running that sort. So you hide cocaine in your tail? Excuse me. Barney hid cocaine in his tail. Is that why? Is that why the okay. show? Okay. <laughs> That's why the show ended because the actor of Barney got raided on set and they really? opened up his tail and he had like just bags of coke stuffed up in his tail oh, and he had a good a jet. Thing or like a that's like a legit thing what? if you search up barney cocaine in his tail seriously <sighs> all right so once again i'm not starting this with all right so it is once again that guy no 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 do it do it because that guy would be like that'll be your video all right so nick simone i mean all right so it's still gonna be my video because i always say all right so all right so all right so all right so Another late ass night at rock bottom as usual. It's 12:20. Super tired for some reason. I actually don't know why I'm gonna get home and be wide awake. But yeah, not really sure how that Q and A went. I know I put it up on my Instagram super late notice. I kind of like just thought of it really fast and had some decent questions. James, of course, rambled and I loved, nice I loved it. I loved it. Didn't expect Dave appearances. to be there. Dave said he wanted to be a part of it, so he took place. Very glad I got a Q&A with James out for you guys first on YouTube. That's not 
the only thing that me and James are crafting and creating. Me and James have a lot planned, not really, just like one video. And then of course James' channel, gonna be amazing, link below. Go sub to James, it's red light, buddy. Well, I'm stopping, chill. Barely. But yeah, so the edit that you guys watched was edited and filmed by Grant. So it's gonna be fire, like usual. I'm really tired, I don't know where I'm going with this. So I'm gonna end the video here. You have a nice hat. Thank you, brother.